This morning, Nye Communities Coalition brought up eight local AmeriCorps volunteers to help the firefighters wash their fire trucks. They also donated some special treats to the paramedic firefighters. Fire Chief Scott Lewis held their annual service this morning underneath Tower Ladder 1 with a moment of silence. We mostly had a, a low-key event today and just uh, considered all the events on an internal basis. We made two separate announcements at the times that the planes had hit the World Trade Center buildings and uh, we asked for everyone to stop what they were doing for a moment and extend their thoughts and prayers uh, to whoever they were with and, and uh, their private prayers as far as all those individuals including the 343 firefighters that were lost that day. Tower Ladder 1 is out there in the parking lot, uh, proudly displayed. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Tower Ladder 1, which is, you know, it actually was served as Ladder 117 out of Queens, New York, and served at both World Trade Center events, that in 93 and 2001. Uh, it was actually one of the primary response vehicles on both those. It was undamaged as a result of those incidents, refurbished when it came to Perum, and now proudly serves our town. And as a commemorative piece, we have it out there for demonstration purposes today. There's also a piece of the steel from the, the World Trade Center that was acquired by Tim Murray, who had been the former IFF local president. He worked diligently for an extended period of time to get that to come to Perum, incurred the shipping costs, things like that. Once it came into our possession, we had it mounted into a, a rack type of uh, fixture, and we can move it around. And today it's out there with the tower ladder. People are stopping by, taking pictures. I was out there for a few minutes and watching just the townspeople coming by. But they can come and see the part of the World Trade Center, that uh, piece of iron, anytime here at the uh, Station 1. They can actually come out and see the tower ladder if they choose. So they can, a lot of people actually internationally come to see our tower ladder and they'll take pictures with it. Uh, standing next to it with the emblem for the World Trade Center events. But that and the steel are available to our public, you know, normal business hours for the most part. But, you know, come on in, bring your camera, and certainly we'll uh, even assist you taking shots with your family. I know a lot of uh, Americans today are remembering those we lost on 9-11. Give me a little bit of firefighter perspective on this event. It's all about the people who lost their lives and the families who remain. It's it's not really about us. and. Um, but we use it as an opportunity and reflection of how we can be safer. Some of the operations that were conducted that day, we try to review and see what we can do differently because being over a decade old, there's new processes and procedures in place. So it's a, it's a reflection day, and we certainly, you know, it's all about those folks that we just discussed. And, but in some ways, there's always an area of opportunity, no matter how bad the situation is, and that's kind of where we try to use it in our training. We'd like to thank Francine Winners and the AmeriCorps volunteers. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.